What's up guys and welcome back to Batman the Enemy Within. Um, in the previous video we basically uh, entered Saul. The Joker is now making us have to uh, play games for our life and we have to protect Selina. Which I a lot of people might have sit and second guess Selina and be like can I trust you blah blah blah. I think Selina at heart has a like a, is a good person. I mean she just does bad things. But, um, yeah, so we're going to dig up a grave. This will do the job. So, so why didn't you pick it up? Oh, I had to go over here. You could just pick up the shovel. Something underneath. There's probably a razor blade in there. See some familiar faces, Bruce. There's Thomas Wayne, your dear departed criminal dad. Joe Chill, you two met in Crime Alley that one time, remember? Bruce Wayne and Cat and Batman, of course. Nothing happens in Gotham without him skulking around. This is a good old-fashioned whodunit. These are your suspects. The victims, as usual, are all around you. All you gotta do is put the right face on the right grave, Bruce. I'll allow room for some interpretation, but not much. You're just pulling every string, aren't you? Chill did pull the trigger, so uh, I'll give it to you. What I was looking for was your father. His shady dealings got a love. What the fuck? Come on! I actually thought we were supposed tonight. to put them on their graves. I guess he's claiming to know who killed Riddler. Probably him. Please tell me you're just blindly trying options. None of our suspects killed Riddler, obviously. I didn't think it was you, or your dad, or Joe Chill. Joker doesn't know, unless it was him. He's just messing with us. <laughs> what the fuck are we missing? What's he trying to say? John Doe is dead. There's only Joker now. Not entirely right, but not wrong either. It was Bruce that killed the poor little Doe. John just wanted to make his best friend happy. He gave his heart willingly, only to have it ripped from his chest. Still beating and spraying blood everywhere. What a mess. I hope you're happy with yourself. 
Are there any left? No, we placed them all. <laughs> what the hell? Someone's in there. I can't get it open. I'll find something else. Tiffany. I couldn't breathe. I've been in there for hours. How did you end up in there? And are you hurt? I'm okay. I'm okay now. Alfred lost touch with you at the Ace Chemical Plant. I tracked you. I wanted to help. You should have stayed here. back. You don't even have equipment. Like, you what don't have, it? like, batarangs and all sticker. that. It looks like... And that's you. So what? Joker thinks you killed Riddler. I... Uh, uh, I'm not sure why. It's just... Hey, you can tell me. Joker's right. What? I they're doing it a second Riddler. time where they're trying to play it off as Tiffany killed Riddler? Come you the fuck killed off. Riddler. That's where it kind of went the shit in the last one, where it was like, Tiffany it. did it! And who are you? Riddler's friend. <laughs> Selena. And I came to this town to avenge <laughs> Riddler killed her father, Selena. <laughs> This is Lucius Fox's daughter. Tiffany. Whatever you do, Bruce, you're gonna have to turn Tiffany in because of your precious code to reach your old friend Gordon of the GCPD. Wait! You got him fired! No, no, wait, he's not your friend anymore. He betrayed you. <laughs> God! What a mess you've made! Dinner is about to be served. The final guest to wait. Bruce. When this is over, we're gonna talk, right? You can count on it. Little girl. Tiss tiss. You have to you have to point the finger at her and be like, no, bad girl. I don't blame her, actually. I mean, personally, I agree that she had a right to kill Riddler. But I was hoping they would do it as John did it, so he could take over. Like in the villain ending, but whatever. I mean, whatever. I don't care. Because I thought that was a stupid plot to Like, ooh, plot twist. It was actually Tiffany who killed Riddler. <laughs> I'm hoping there's no fucking tricks like we sit down at the table and he's like now pick which one lives and I'm gonna pick Selena I'm Welcome. horrible I know Finally. but I probably will pick Selena so, so that's the person he kills and then the it's got a head explosion setting soon so play along Isn't this nice? People never take the time to eat a meal together these days. And since you care about these folks, well, as much as you care about anyone, you'll be a good little guest. 
Sounds good. Always love dinner parties. You might not love this one when we're done. I know it's impolite to start without all guests present, but Bruce, you gotta try this. Open up. Come on. She, I know what's gonna happen. No matter what I do, she's gonna you force right. it in my mouth. He ain't so sharp. <laughs> oh my God. I see what you did there, honey. I like making you smile. You're so good to me. <laughs> Alfred! He came as soon as he heard you and Tiffany would be here. You assured me no one would get hurt. Ah, uh, no. I said that people would get hurt if you didn't come. Not the same. You brought scones! <laughs> Stay clear of that one. Came out a bit charred. Well, luckily, Master Bruce has never been picky. They look good, don't they? Want one? Wow! Sure, thanks. Um, the one in the middle. But that one's burnt. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I just love hitting you. Since the guests are all here, I want to show them the main course. That's a great idea. <laughs> I'll have my pick of all the Gotham soon. So I'm kinda hoping the survivor ain't one of you. Doesn't that look good? Old family recipe. Hope you're all hungry. Looks delicious. Sarcasm at the dinner table. <laughs> Gotta work on those manners. Now, be a polite boy. Like I taught you. Good. Good. I feel like playing along will lead to less people dying. Don't make dying. them like they used to. Puddin. I think it's time. We're gonna fucking die. No! I mean, not yet. <laughs> We wanted to play with them a little longer, right? Uh, right. A game. Three rounds. One for each of Bruce's friends. Let's get to know just how awful each of you truly is. Think of it as your last confession. Raise a hand, or lose it. That's right. Fingers up. Alfred's going to get this party started. Read it. You need help with that, Mitty. <clears throat> Never have I ever lied to a friend. Now, the way that this works is, if you have lied to a friend, finger goes down. I know. Your dad's a crime lord. It's really tough to tell a tween. <laughs> Your turn. Pretty simple rules. And now, if you've lowered a finger, I get to do something terrible to you. Not you, of course. Huh. 
Never have I ever used a friend. All of it. Manipulated them just to get what I want. I never meant to hurt you, John. I don't care what you meant. I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm much better off now. Finger down. Not you, Puddin. You do you, hun. I got the cats. Thanks, babe. Bruce! Next up, Tiffany. Never have I ever. You know what? I'm not doing this. Don't test us, lab rats. Test you? If I didn't have a gun to my head, I'd kill you just like I killed Riddler. Tiffany. And it'd be a whole lot easier. Because unlike you two, Riddler was smart. What did you say? I think the gal who fell into our trap just called us dumb. <laughs> Maybe we hit her too hard on the head. Or maybe not hard enough. If there wasn't a point zero zero one percent chance that you might survive the virus, I'd kill you right now. Read. Never have I ever killed a person in cold blood. Oh. Didn't know the Girl Scout had it in her, did ya? Finger down, Brucey. You murdered John Doe. And it was as cold-blooded as you can get. John's not dead. I know he's in there somewhere. <laughs> You'd love that, you. Because, John, you could twist him around with all your words. Oh, come on. He'd believe me. I didn't murder not John me. in cold blood. John, he don't matter. Not anymore. You see what he does? Man, I really dodged a bullet, didn't I? You're a freaking mess. Look at these people you surround yourself with. Liars. Thieves. Murderers. And you think you're too good for me? I am so glad we're not friends. Puddin, I'm done waiting. You got what you wanted, right? Yeah, I did. Let him die a little sooner than the rest of the city. Goodbye, Bruce. John, come on. Don't let her kill me. <laughs> oh, Wait. dear God. You gotta be kidding me. I thought uh, Just, I made the wrong choice. Fun, right? The thing happened is stabbing him, hitting him. Emotionally torturing him. Puddin. I, I kind of just... I don't want it to end. Oh, my God. Are you serious right now? I try so hard to make you happy. But you're never going to get over him, are you? I'm going to kill you, babe. Okay, now he's using a knife. Sorry, baby. 
Can't we just kill and make up? Let's start with the killing path. See how we go. <laughs> Party. tested that if that actually worked that's a problem I love it don't have bullets in it, it just says bang. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Cute couple. They'll be cuter with their brains bashed in. <laughs> I hit the wrong button there. I, I, after so many years of playing like quick time events, I hit uh, circle instead of square. That would have been like instant kill in any other game. Dude, I remember playing God of War on like the um, PSP. stays put. Call me when we can do something a little less lethal. This ain't over until I say it's over. That fight. I had to say it. This is a lot better of a fight, too. Like, it in the uh, Vigilante one, it was just like, oh, we just have this emotional fight. I mean, this one's pretty emotional for me too, because I like John. You can't beat me, Bruce. You need me. I'm the villain of your dreams. The shadow within your shadow. The tumor lurking in your soul. <sighs> You broke my heart, John. I did need you. I cared about you. But you took what I gave you and you twisted it into something ugly and wrong. Ugly? Wrong? If you ever love me, you'd see what we have now. It's beautiful. I thought he was about to say, why so serious, Bruce? We've only begun the fun. Oh, 
<laughs> I love how they have this very emotional piano playing. Because everybody who played this probably fell in love with John from the very first part. John, did we? Please. <sighs> no. <laughs> Hug him, damn it. He's alive. <laughs> Every life has value, even yours. Reciting from the old code again, Bruce. Oh, I was about. It. That was an emotional roller coaster. Hoping if you just hold on, you'll never fall into the darkness. <laughs> Remember that night, drinking frappes under the stars, you dishing out advice about the ladies, me finding out you were the bat. It was perfect. <sighs> you know, some part of me always knew. Someone like you, you'd never really be friends with someone Oh, don't, don't make me cry, game. Didn't we, Bruce? It wasn't all bad. Yeah, sure. Some of it was fun. I, I hope you'll look at that scar. Remember those good times. <laughs> I'm hoping the third game has him and like Scarecrow. Maybe Bane comes back. That would be kind of cool. I mean, that's pretty much Arkham um, Asylum all over again, bring in the crocodile dude. But uh, it would suck if they come back with season three and it has nothing to do with Joker. Like, he doesn't even appear. After making him the final, like, episode, like, oh, either he's a vigilante or a bad guy. I'm hoping it ends kind of the same where we go to visit him at Arkham. Let me out of You're here, sure damn it! Some punishment, Wayne. I'll give you that. Dish it out too. I'm pulling my people out of Gotham, effective immediately. I want you to know, you are square. Your secret is safe with me. After everything you've done, it's only right. <sighs> Thank you. If the wrong people found out who I am, that's not going to happen. At least not because of me. Anything else we need to discuss? 
Or is this goodbye? Catwoman. I thought she'd be pretty high on your list. You two certainly have been close. I've got a collar on her for now. But seeing how she put herself on the line against Joker, maybe I'd be willing to take it off. As a token of my goodwill. Catwoman has a sordid past. Past? <laughs> I'd say present, with decent odds on future, too. I'll keep a lid on that, but give her a fresh start. Clear her record. What record? Anyone else you're concerned about? And Avesta. Is she going with you? Poor Iman. You really got inside her head, didn't you? I know it was her that destroyed Riddler's blood. She's gonna have to answer for that. I need to be able to trust the people who work for me. Let her come work for me. I'll find her a job at Wayne Enterprises. I, I mean, we need a wants? whole fucking staff she should now. At least know he it's an ki he killed everyone. Okay then, I'll mention it. She's pretty fond of Gotham. God knows why. And of you. God you know, knows why. She loves that steak place on Clinton Street. Maybe you should take her some time. So, what else? What about Jim? Joker hurt him pretty bad. They're saying he might not walk again, at least not without a cane. He saved thousands of lives with that map. Trading you like that? He's clearly been taking lessons from the agency. I'm inclined to give him a medal. Maybe his old title, too, if he wants it. A tough old dog like him. He's good for a junkyard like Gotham. Jim deserves the highest honor. Like always, he put his duty first. Yeah, goddamn right. Him. I'll see you around. It's always possible, Bruce. Okay, okay. So we freed Selena. We I'll got Investa to work for us. And Gordon's place. coming back to the job. All teams accounted for, ma'am. Airlift is en route. Thank you, Agent. I'll be right there. We were able to pick up Miss Fox's trail. She's taken to the rooftops. Good. Stay with her until I tell you otherwise. Word is Tiffany Fox cop to Riddler's murder. Personally, I don't give a damn about what happened to that maniac. But I know how you feel about lethal force. I can bring her in if you want. Lay a charge on her. Unless that's something you'd rather take care of yourself. Tiffany and I go way back. I'd rather deal with her myself. Yeah. My people will let, let me you know where this. to find her. <clears throat> Take care of yourself, Bruce Wayne. You goddamn need it. So, we we did everything! We did everything I did with the visual... Well, everything I wanted to do with the visual anti-ending. Like, save Selena. We got the agents to, to, to fucking leave. We asked her to come to work for us. What's her face? Uh, I already forgot her name. And Gordon got his job back. Yay! It's a happy ending, I think. Plus, we have, like, him as our rival again. Like, our enemy, like it's supposed to be. I mean, I kind of like the visual anti thing. It was a cool little twist on the game. I don't think that was possible that it was Tiffany. I think that was just, uh, fuck it, last second. Well, this is the same as the visual anti ending. I'm hoping we have like a final moment with Selena where we could talk. Tiffany. We need to talk. Yeah, I figured. I made it. Thinking someday I'd be fighting by your side. Not running from you. I was working up the courage to tell you. Joker? He just... Guessed it somehow. 
Said he knows another psychopath when he sees one. It was almost a relief to admit it. I'm sorry you found out that way. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder. I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. Uh, yet I've seen this before. This is literally he the same as the out. last um, one. I'm going to continue going because I know I made the mistake last time of right when this cut this. out. Um, I won't ask for forgiveness. I come up, but had I like, what, 19 had minutes it. left or maybe like nine minutes so left. powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. Revenge is an impulse, one to be checked. I can't condone it. But I do understand it. Thank you. That means a lot. I couldn't bear it if you despise me. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. If you want to fill your father's shoes, you need to learn right from wrong. You need someone to teach you. You're giving me a second chance? Think of it more. We gave everybody else in our lives a second chance. The first time we met Selena, she literally stole from us. I mean, we we are known for giving people second chances when they deserve it. I promise I won't let you down. Then let's get started. I still wonder how his cape does that. I I'm on the rope with Joker where I'm like, how does his cape do that? Is this the same ending? <laughs> this is literally what I said was horrible about the visual anti ending or the, um, the visual anti path is this part. Yeah, it's the same fucking shit. I guess this time we could at least figure out what Alfred is talking about. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Like we talked about. Some place in the sun, on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. So, take a back seat from the operations. Put your feet up for a while. Keep us stocked with... Cucumber sandwiches and tea. And just stand idly by while your enemies rend you limb from limb. Do a little dusting while you bleed out on the Batcave floor. I don't think so. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore. At least not to me. Now everything has become so gray. <laughs> gray? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. Well, it worked, didn't it? If you call citywide devastation a success. 
You led John Doe to believe you were his friend. Turning on him when he killed those agents, that pushed him to become Joker. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. I'm not blind to the damage I cause, nor am I to the chaos that swirls in Gotham. But I have to believe the good outweighs the bad. I thought you did too. Not anymore. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. She was on Joker's guest list because of her relationship to you. Selina, too. It's a miracle any of us survived that ghastly dinner. But Joker certainly made his point. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. You think I want that? We can fix the problem, Al, but not if we run from it. Unless we are the problem. Leaving this all behind might be the only solution. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> That's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please, don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you, not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Okay, maybe I am more like my father than I want to admit, but our paths are different. Can't you see? The paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley, shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. Alfred, I'm... <laughs> I'm nothing without you. You're my father. The best father anyone can have hope for. A good father wants his children to be happy and safe. Seeing how far you are from either, it's why I have to go. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. I don't know what to do here. This is such a hard choice. Alfred, wait. Would you stay if I promised things would be different? Is that a promise you can keep? Like you said, there are a lot of ways to help. I'm sure the city could use a man of my talent and resources. 
Are you sure about this? I'll do whatever it takes to keep our family together, Al. Even this. So please, tell me you'll stay. Oh, maybe just one more night. I, I wonder, like, if that was the right choice. I might replay this episode. So I was hoping there would be, like, a scene with Selena afterwards so we could actually sit and talk. Okay, evacuate choices. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says Yo, you're Bert, trouble. You and 11% asked Joker to defend you from her. Harley was annoyed she could not make you admit you were part of the pack. Harley felt a monetary sadness when you admitted your treachery, but still condemned you to death. Harley fell in love with John when he came to the rescue on the bridge. She felt abandoned and enraged when she realized you were more important to Joker than she Thunderbolt! I'm the whole, the whole goddamn, goddamn hurricane. hurricane! Director of the dinghy, uh, she won't reveal your secret. I'm not gonna read all of these. I'm just wondering the story. Gotham safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it! Commissioner. Selena, did we get her free? I weighed my options and what can I say? On the prowl. I don't like to lose. You and 2.6% of players wiped away Selena's criminal record. Now that you had Waller clear Selena's criminal record, she has the freedom to decide her future. I won't let you down. Prodigy. Criminally insane. Cool. You're drawn to them, aren't you? COO. What the fuck is a COO? She left the agency, is now overjoyed that she's joining Wade Enterprises. If a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? When you decide to give up the cow, Alfred became cautiously optimistic about your share. Best enemy. While well, he appreciated that you shared some good times, Joker showed it with his knife to the gut. Did you shake hands with Joker? Ah, I kind of fell for it. I thought he was going to be nice. Did Gordon betray you? You heard back out of his deal with Joker. Hold up. Was there a way that Joe Gordon didn't betray you? You and 76.7 heard John, or heard Gordon back out of his deal with Joker. Did you determine the fate of others with Waller? You and 95% of players had Waller use her influence. Did you give up the cow, or cow, away off, so Alfred would stay? You and 36.3% of players told Alfred you would give up being Batman. 5.7 players refused to hear Alfred's last word. That was me in the last um, episode. Because uh, I didn't know. I thought it was like, then you could leave. I thought he was leaving for a vacation. I didn't know he was leaving forever. 58% of players could never give up being Batman. Which Joker did you defeat? You and 44.9% of players defeated villain Joker. Okay, I want to look at the photos collected. Uh, what the fuck? 
fuck, it wouldn't let me look at it. Oh, maybe I was supposed to sit there and look. I'm such a dumbass. I bet you that's what it was. I had to sit there and actually um, keep it there. We had so much fun, Joker. I just couldn't stay away. I knew you wouldn't be able to, Bruce. Let's get you ready. <laughs> this is actually a lot better, and it, this one makes a lot more sense. That, um... That it ends with him talking to the doll and being like... All that instead of us going to visit him. I mean, that makes a little bit more sense. I was hoping we would visit him, though. Updating content. Updating content. I want to see if the pictures are, like, in the inventory. Because it says you can access the back computer from any moment. Oh, we can return to Batcave. Let's go to the Batcave and see if those photos are there. And if not, I'll just end the video. Yeah, because you could go to the Batcave at any moment after... Like, I didn't know that in the main menu. So maybe it's in the Codex. Maybe it's somewhere in the Batcave. Oh, boop. We found Bane. Which, uh, Machismo. Harley, which... We, we stole her belt. And her hammer. Breeze, we stole his goggles and his glove. Him, we stole the glove or the mask and that. What about... Yeah, we didn't add anything to the Catwoman side. I just wanted to see what we added after we defeated them. Uh, let's check Codex. I wish they would do, like, everything, like, you, um, unlock would all stay. Like, in the main menu. Even if you did a different story or got different photos, you could, like, see them. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think they kept the photos. Then what was the point of being able to return back to the bat cave? Yeah, other than getting to go see, oh, blah, 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 we defeated Joker, we defeated Harley Quinn, we got all these little collectibles. You know? Like, we stole her belt and her um, hammer. We stole that bomb and put it there for Joker. I bet we would have kept something else if we would have got the visual ante. Um, ending, and then Bane, we stole his mask, which is kind of funny because, like, the biggest dishonor and like, luchador, like, culture is to steal someone's mask. That's, like, uh, taking their manhood away. But we're going to end this video. I have no clue how long it is. It's probably about to, like, cut me off anyway. So, I would like to thank everybody for watching, and, um, this is pretty much the end of Batman. I don't see a point to do any more videos. Um, I thought there was going to be, like, a huge difference if we save Selena. Maybe we would get another scene where we talk to her. Maybe we do in the Vigilante one. But I don't feel like um, replaying the whole game. Get the Vigilante ending. Then turn around, save Catwoman just for, like, a ten-minute scene. But, um, for anybody who likes Telltale games, I will be coming back with um, Tales from the Borderlands really soon. So stay tuned for that. So if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.